Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with what I coloured in March 2020. So I did 13 pictures, which for me is quite good. Um, even though I'm on lockdown and I'm off work. Uh, obviously I've got Jennifer to look after, so I, I, I'm surprised I coloured as much of this. And one of them was really in-depth one as well. So let's have a look at what we coloured in the month of March. So the first one I did was from uh, Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls by Hannah Lynn. Mermaids and more to colour and I did this one. This is the one we did, um, it wasn't the first one I did, I've got them the wrong way around to be fair. This was the one that uh, we did with the skin tones, the um, Touch New skin tones which has come out quite nicely. I do like this one and if you remember I did this uh, which is her glove. I, I did that with the skin tone by Inera. So I just did a black glove and a black dress and it looks really nice. So that was with the Arteza Everblends. Um, we did, gosh it seems like years ago now, we did this one from Storybook Darlings which was uh, Red Riding Hood. I think that was with Prismacolors, I think. I've been asked to do a video with Prismacolors again next month and I will do. I've just got to choose the picture. So we did that one. I like that book. And then I did one again from Chibi Grey Scale this month. I did on this one uh, the uh, movie star one. And this was done using the Touch 5 markers and uh, some glitter gel pens on her dress just to give it some sparkle on his shoes and her handbag and uh, some Wink Costello over her dress as well. I did one from 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I'm doing these in order that they are in the book and I did this one. And again this was with the, this one was with the Link Shine pens, you know how much I love those. And I'm now on my third gold. I think it was with the Link Shine ones anyway. It might not have been. No, actually it wasn't. It was the um, script tracked ones. Yeah, I used them for a change. See, I've got so many. <laughs> I forget. Um, and then I did one from Kawaii Grey Grayscale and I did the same one that the Bibliophile Colorist did and we did this one on camera, which was of course the St. Patrick's Day picture. Again, this was done with the um, Arteza Everblend markers and the Link Shine on the coins in her cup. And yeah, that was it. That's the only place I, I used a bit of glitter was there. I like doing this one. I think it looks really nice. So I really enjoyed that one. I did one from Creative Haven's Flower Mandalas. I do one every month in this book as well. And this was the one I used up all the gold in from the Link Shine. As you can see, I used up a lot of gold here and I'm, I'm on my third gold now, but this was definitely all Link Shine. And I just used the three colors, a sort of pinky color, a green and the gold. Well, I think I put orange around the edge just to break it up a bit, so four colors. Um, yeah, I'm doing these in order, so I'll be doing this one in April. I did another one from 100 uh, Magical Patterns, Jade Summer Book. I'm doing one of these every month as well, at least one of these every month. And I did the two little fish, and this was done with the... Crayola Super Tips. I had to think, I could not, I think it was Crayola Super Tips. Yeah, I think it was Crayola Super Tips. Yeah, yes it was. Definitely the, do you know what, I'm so not with it today, it's terrible. So this was with Crayola Super Tips and I like this one. And again, in April I'll do the next one on the page which is this one. I like, tend to use the Crayolas in this one. Though I can see me giving them to Jennifer because she just let the tops off of hers. Jade Summer again, Geometric Mandalas. You see there's a lot of Jade Summer going on at the moment. They've got some good books out. Um, this is one the new one I got last month. And again, I'm doing this in order. 
and I did this one and again this was using the Link Shine gel pens used four colours orange, black, uh, blue and silver again I'll probably do them in order and do this one next whether or not I'll do another one in April I don't know it depends how I get on but I do I like those sorts of books I just sit and watch TV Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn I did one in this one this was with the Everblend markers again I love those markers again I've done it with a red top but we've got some uh, black glitter gel pen on her the spots and the trim but I mean it was a, like it's quite a simple one because it's so big um, but I got it done and I really really like that one Then, of course, Colour in Heaven, Heaven I Can't Speak, Gothic Alchemy. This is really grayscale. Now, you've seen um, this on my Instagram, and I did this picture. So, all this was done using the Everblend markers, apart from the background, which I did use in the Distress Ink, which I'm not very good with, and I'll admit it's not the best. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. It could have been better but I still quite like the effect, gives it a quite a vintage look. I'm definitely going to colour in this one again. I'm hoping to colour in it again um, in April. I just got to decide what picture to do. I think I know which one. So it's that one. I did two in the Gothic Fairies special, which is all my Kajalina. And the, the first one I did is actually the second picture in here. So let's go to that one. If you're on my Instagram, you would have seen this. And I did this one, which is Gracie. And I think that was Everblend markers and some Wink of Stella and glitter gel pen. And of course, we did Astrid on camera and we used our tees at Everblend and we used some gel pens and of course. Uh, the Neo Color 2s on the background. So I enjoyed doing this one. I enjoyed doing some different stuff like using different mediums and using the Neo Color 2s for the first time. So this isn't going to be a long video. It's just a quick wrap up. So there's that one. And the last book I colored in, I finally did one in Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. And I did this page I was thinking about colouring the background in just blue but I think it just looks nice as it is um, and this was done using the um, fine liners I, I've got I've shown them before and this was all done using fine liners they do go through a bit onto the previous page but not so bad that it's, it's um, uncolourable um, so I used lots of different colours I used like four greens three greens and two yellows and some pinks and oranges and I finished that one today in the garden. And it was like, and then I thought, do I want to do a blue background? And I thought, no, I don't. So that is the 13 pictures I have coloured in in the month of April. So what am I planning on colouring in the next month? I want to do um, another one in these two books, definitely. Um. I want to do one in the Ardman book and other than that uh, obviously I'll be doing what I normally colour in so I'll be colouring in my um, magical patterns and my mandala book but other than that I haven't actually decided what I want to really colour yet uh, next month um, other than I want to do some in those three books I have obviously got a lot more and obviously I will be doing some more Hannah Lynn for the uh, Hannah Lynn thing because I'm enjoying the Hannah Lynn pictures. So I've got all my Hannah Lynn books down here. But that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. What is your favourite picture that I coloured this month? Let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you're notified as and when I upload new videos. And I will see you all in the next video which may well be a colour and chat if not a flip through because I've got a few flip throughs to put up. So I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!